Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Uh, the Mandalorian viewership is down. Yeah, it's because people are tired of all this stuff. No, 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 they're not. They're not. It's uh, Disney Star Wars has never been better. It's more right. popular than it's ever been. And if if you point out these numbers, these numbers are racist, these numbers are bigoted, and you're probably a bigoted racist Republican or something. They said that? No, I'm just, oh. they, I'm sure Twitter is. Like, oh, okay. all, the, all the Nazis hate Grogu. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna talk about this, guys, because look, again, this is another example of the media can't cover for the failure anymore. Mm -hmm. and, and Star Wars, Disney Star Wars, the last thing they had going for them positively was the Mandalorian and it looks like that's going down the the tubes too. I think they overdid it. Like even the book of Bubba Fett, it was like Mandalorian in there and everything. I think those people are just over it. Yeah, this is CBR, which did lots and lots of damage control for Disney Star Wars over the years. Mandalorian season three premiere numbers show signs of Star Wars fatigue, guys. No Star kidding. Wars. People no. have been saying this forever. Uh, shitty Star Wars fatigue. Because look, you can always come back. Star Trek was in the gutter. Absolutely like the lowest point Star Trek has been in in decades. And all it took was Picard season three to get people back on board with Star Trek. I mean, which is an extra season of, uh, you know, Star Trek, uh, the next generation. That's what people I mean, wanted, this, this, this is beyond us. That's what it is. Yeah, it's Star Trek's greatest hits, but that's what people wanted, right? So, And that's like The Mandalorian. Initially, season one, oh, I don't want your Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, that's so nice. So double um, down, double down. Double down, double down on Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, yeah, so, you know, Mandalorian season one, you know, won people back after the sequel trilogy. And then they flushed all the goodwill down the toilet with the Book of Boba Fett yep. and the Gina Carano situation and Obi-Wan. And then people didn't even bother checking out Andor. I keep forgetting Andor exists. Well, I think you're saying now, Soka, everybody thought it was going to be... Um, uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn, who's going to be the bad guy. Well, he's part of it, but it's going to be some other woman who's a bad guy. Oh, of course, because we can't take one of the most popular expanded universe characters and, and put them to the forefront, mm -hmm. you know. So let's let's talk about this. These are hard numbers, guys. Of course, the media trying to do some damage control, being like, well, wait, it takes a master's degree to actually figure out this math. You know, it looks like it might be less, but it might actually be more. Who knows? Maybe Star Wars is fine. No, Star Wars is not fine. Star Wars is not fine. Guys, yeah. just freaking stop. Stop it. Stop it. So let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views uh, and rants. And uh, yeah, give us a woohoo without giving oh, a number count. Yeah, we're over the magic number. I'm going to stop mentioning it all the time. But uh, so Geeky needs, Geeky needs to just uh, woohoo when I say, hey, give us a sub. Like, yeah. Woo Go subs. All right. So this is coming from StarWarsNewsNet.com, which is awkward. StarWarsNewsNet.com. Mandalorian. It is awkward. Yeah. The Mandalorian Nielsen viewership ratings are lower than season two. According to Variety. This is according to Variety, guys, not, not uh, Breitbart. Uh, according to Variety, the firm measured 823 million minutes watched for the Mando between February 27th and March 5th. Came in in fifth place. Ooh. Fifth place. That's I mean, behind good. Last of Us, which I, I understand that, you know, Last of Us makes sense. Behind NCIS. That's what's weird. That is that is a show that's been on forever. Like, I don't know if this is a new vert because they have like NCIS, like Detroit, NCIS, Honolulu, NCIS, Popeye's Chicken, <laughs> down the corner. There's like freaking how many NCIS shows are there? I don't even know. All I know is the one that had Mark Harmon with the goth girl that looked like she had the goth makeup on and she was like 58 years old. It was kind of weird. Um, hot topic, whatever her name was. Yeah. So yeah, it came in fifth place. That's not good. Cause this was at one point in time, the most popular streaming show bar none. Like the Mandalorian was amazing. Okay, it'd still be Coco Melon. So there's that. Yeah. But kids are watching Coco Melon on YouTube too. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, these 823 million minutes include the season three premiere and also any previous episode of The Mandalorian. Oh, wow, really? That's so all of it. Okay. Yeah. Meanwhile, a show like Murda, Murda Murders collected over a thousand million minutes with only three episodes in The Last of Us. A thousand million. That's not how math works. One thousand one hundred eleven million. Okay. 
<laughs> and The Last of Us had over a thousand million minutes with eight episodes. Again, not counting people that watched it on cable. So basically the, the combined totality of The Mandalorian, three seasons, or the two seasons plus a premiere, still came in fifth place versus these other shows which are newer and have fewer episodes. Except for NCIS. Yeah, except for NCIS. So they have 300 episodes. So that's how they got up there, right? That's, they got the, you know, but that's, yeah. So that's not good. Um, yeah. The Mandalorian was a show that people literally subscribed to Disney Plus for, and it's it's coming in fifth place. That's that's actually not good at all. So people aren't even going back and watching, you know, the older seasons. The figure is still higher than the Book of Boba Fett, except for the week of the finale. Um, and it's also higher than Andor, which most people forgot existed. It's not quite as good as Obi-Wan. Uh, yeah, so, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's the damage control. It must be stressed that Nielsen, while more reliable than other companies, is still a third-party service. Unlike Samba TV, they were able to practically reproduce Obi-Wan Kenobi being Disney Plus' biggest premiere. Streaming numbers are essentially a black box to which only Disney Plus has access. Third-party data also points to Andor having a stronger presence internationally than North America. We have no way of knowing if it failed as bad as it did. Okay, now here's where it gets really interesting. You get to the bottom. This is, again, this is coming from starwarsnews.net.com.uk. Whatever. Uh, no. Uh, of course, these are all after-the-fact explanations that could be overruled by one simple truth. Many people have moved on. No shit! Everybody's been saying it! Only Disney knows exactly what's going on. Disney's never going to tell you? They're never going to tell you. We must also mention that despite the season receiving a lukewarm reception, this accounts for only the premiere. No, it's it's declining week People said that actually, yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. People watch the premiere. The problem is, as it goes on, the episodes keep doing worse and worse and worse. Yeah, so here's here's the thing. This was, again, another golden goose that Disney has killed, in my opinion, and... You can't hide the numbers anymore. If if the numbers had been in Disney's favor, right? If Samba TV had said, this is the most viewed whatever of the week, Disney would have been out there blasting it all over their social media. Oh my God, guys, The Mandalorian's number one. Must uh -huh. see The Mandalorian, right? the yeah. top streaming show. Trust us. People are over it. They're over it. And I, you know, I have to wonder, because they lost a whole bunch of subscribers, you know, last quarter. Are, are we going to see another loss of subscribers does that account for some of the reason why maybe not as many people are watching the star wars shows because not as many people are subscribed to disney plus i think there's too many subscription services out there and people were subscribing just to watch like star wars and marvel and they're, they haven't been good and even then you don't have to subscribe every month to watch those you subscribe for a month watch what you want wait a few months come back watch a bunch a lot of people are doing that it's just too much competition and people just don't give a shit God, so this is this is so aggravating. This is this is another one of these. It's things. okay when they say it. Yes, this is comic book resources, which is not even comic books anymore. CBR.com, right? Clickbait site, whatever. They have spent years attacking Star Wars fans and anybody who was a Star Wars detractor, saying that it was only the alt-right Nazis who didn't like Disney Star Wars and that Star Wars was fine. And the reason that the rise of Skywalker failed at the box office was because, you know, his Lord and Highness Ryan Johnson didn't get to work on that one, too. Well, that's what a lot of these uh, outlets said. So here we have CBR.com saying Star Wars fatigue is a real thing. Additionally, Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker himself, expressed concern about the abundance of Star Wars on the Disney landscape. Uh, he said they should pace themselves because you don't want to oversaturate it. I said to Disney, can really, wait. five months after we come out comes Star Wars Story, can we wait until Christmas? No, the, Disney was going to do this. Everybody got all excited when they bought Lucasfilm. They're like, oh my God, guys, it's going to be like Christmas every day. We're going to get new Star Wars every year, Disney said. If it was good Star Wars, you wouldn't be so tired of it so quickly, but it's not. So this is just like, I, again, this is another, we did a video uh, earlier talking about the comic book industry and how it's taken the mainstream comic book industry press five years to catch up to where YouTubers were. Here we are, CBR.com saying Star Wars fatigue is a thing and Star Wars is on the decline and it's going to be really interesting to see what happens at Celebration, see if they announce new movies or well, where the like hell they're going to. That's like next weekend, isn't it? I think, I say, yeah. yeah. And see if anybody actually gives a shit about any of the announcements. Now, you can fix a franchise. I think 
I think Picard season three shows that you can fix a franchise and actually bring people back to the fold, but you got to make good stuff. Mm -hmm. And right now, everything I've seen coming out of Disney or even the stuff they're talking about or spitballing or whatever looks like dog shit. It doesn't look like anything that's going to bring anybody nope. back. Um, well, they keep doubling down on the wrong things. Yeah. And and it's going to be like, oh, look, guys, we have the Acolyte coming out with uh, all this diverse keep, okay. peoples. The thing is, you can have diversity. And then we keep saying this. You can have a diverse show and have a lot of diversity in the show. As long as it's organic, people will be like, oh, okay, and it's good. People don't, well, they don't mind diversity as long as it's good. The problem is when you lead with diversity, and that's, what, what's the show about diversity? What are the characters about? Well, they're diverse characters okay but well who are they well one's this one's that and they're just they're just boiled down to labels that's what people are offended by especially people who identify as those labels because you're just basically a label slapped onto something and that's all your representation is yeah. so you know it's it's just people are over it i i think everybody's over star wars i think for the most part you're gonna have your diehards or whatever but the franchise is definitely uh it's been milked hard and put away wet yeah okay yeah and, uh, <laughs> Uh, we'll see where Disney goes with it again. It Your can... milk tart, there's not much wetness left. No, no. It's more of a dry Put tart. away dry. Put away dry. So we're going to wrap this up. Mm -hmm. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Mm -hmm. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.